say 15 minutes. Okay, so I get two frames of reference here, one from the modern times, one from the 12th century. I add the two together so they're one song. Okay. This is a new experimental style. I think it could be feasible. So, I don't stop. When you're 19 years old, ain't swinging brass, but your heart war horse ideal, so quick and fast, you learn enough bones from head to toe. Lean in with the thumb on a dark back road. She ain't mixing blood. She ain't mixing drinks. It's protected last noon a day. Ain't a swath, a swift, or a swank in her walk. But I ain't been judged or snooped us yet. They braved up yet. Ninety uh, percent odds, and tough shit, gonna die. Why? Well, I have to scan. Okay, he's saying, uh, now, uh, he keeps, he keeps somewhere you took, someone you took under wing from meeting her dad, where it seems to be about a 50-50 chance her boyfriend's brother ain't no skippy romance. Your loneliness is a selfish one, you know, love compartment ain't flat, counter, counter gun, above nor below it. Oh, yeah, he's a box and jack. This guy's talking about firearms a whole, whole, whole. And he honors you with a roll down window. He does. Yeah, he's, he's a villain. He's mean and he's tough as I. He rolls you the roll down window. I ain't lying. You ain't got rocks to tell him no. In the dim behind, you discern the footsteps. Ha, ha, ha. Holds up his gate, your ring finger first death will warn. Now, one more, but that's lion scope, know the dame West. Uh, next thing, next thing, some say they travel in three king nights, three king nights, to a, to a worldwide crash. Every say, others say, every not to them saying that. Therefore, Jack Day Jones, no time for locker. Snoop Jack, Snoop Jack, strapping bazooka. Brinks time, it's a carry on knapsack. 50 pound pucker. Ho, 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 yeah, it's an employer trade, no Silicon Valley. And his lemonade, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a showtime rally. Neptune rises from the ocean depths, changeling snap finger. Human Jack racked a job or not saw it. Drawing closer, or from the other side. Oh my! Drawing closer from the other side. Fifty cent, Dr. Dre every day payday. See you having, ha have a nice day. He twenty times her, and his eyes do rage at she and her let her laugh. He gonna bust every rib. Gloria Steiner, Diner down the street gets a red flash call. The one Roman soldier, the one scared the dam, the one scared the dam when one hundred thousand hilltop across wood slams in ghostly form. She know him well. In ghost the farm, she know him well. She be, uh, she be Martha Stewart's uh, changeling tooth to tell. And laugh tonight is a thread he wore. Now be this time, Dr. J, uh, playing a roto rooter, Van Cooter set to spray or hose while rooting snoop snow snaps to drag her, to dagger, to uh, snoop. Snaps to uh, to to jam shell load. Oh my, my my says they says fifty cent rent row by road. You do impress me hand in hand. I 
Atticus Finch as well on hand. Cannonball Neptune pull a jack straw, and all of a sudden, the Thumb Girl Smasher gets the first hit he about to taste disaster. Yes, he about to taste disaster. In the spring, was later, the last year's seed, the harvest was scraped from the last gathered days. Bounty indeed. And, uh, and the German Nanak Hildegard canticles prayed, the mystic scrolls captive wrapped in the, in the jade dry leaf preserves all the time itself told you to, to, you, to you pick up your boots, pick up your socks, and grab your, and grab your, uh, grab your, Grab your smocks. Yeah, grab your smocks. Now, now remember, now, let's see. It. Now I have to scroll back because there's so many things I have to remember when I read So, so it kind of gets, let's see. Now, who's that? Um, okay, so here is a, the remaining song will be just explained. Uh, so, Dr. Dre has the uh, Roto Rooter uncapped and he's sitting in the seat behind the driver's seat, the back seat, and Neptune is coming up from the other side, and he's Mr. He's Mr. Mitchell and tires all around. Him. That's what he looks like, and he'll he'll pop that 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 creeper, a snowball all the way to the equator. It's a that's a reference that built a long time ago, and that's the strength he has, and and um. So Snoop, but Snoop, he can handle it on his own because he's got that thing with him that you know that, that they use to break open the bank vault. It's a, it's a, it's a jack up. You jack at one time it'll boom, and they take all the bills from from the, the truck. It's not, a, it's not a, it's not a drill or a, or, a, or any. Nobody is assassinated. No, I mean nobody is like. Uh, taking their life just for doing their job, but um, they take it. They take the money. This is what these are used for. They take the money and they um, they divert it all kinds of ways. They go to see a India, a Native American guy with long hair and you know, walkie talkie, and he's sitting standing on a on a porch out in um, out in uh, palm tree land somewhere. And he said, we're, we're going to skim 30 off the top and give it to um, old Bill Bronze down in, um, down in um, Rhode Island Coast somewhere near Bristol. And, and, have a, and he got to take a certain amount because he's got the pawnbroker uptown. He's got to shift his side of the, of the, of the jackrabbit flow. It's all kinds of people just, uh, just hanging on to their rent now and they're working day 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 and we can take another twenty percent and um, shift it to to war bonds. Uh, I don't they might never hear that have them, but they have them in, in different ways. They have them stacked up so that you shift to to like uh, disaster rate. And then you you grow you grow reads and the and the finance jack and um, send them in where there's this there's families who ain't gonna make it if they don't get another lift. So and you then you put balloons in the air with boxes underneath. Let's see, you send them to uh, loads of countries so that their neighbors with the the wild jack uh, factories where the masters of war is, go hang, hang not wild, the tongue's hanging out in the CEO. And then, then the, you never blame a soldier. Never, never put the weight on a soldier. A soldier is an angel, but the, the people, the corporate people, are absolute the dust and the scum. And they, they, they'll sneak up your um, nostrils when you're not looking and you're sleeping and they'll lay seeds there that'll burst up uh, um, scorpion-like uh, spiders.
that come out with baby form, and they use them in the wild bunch at the beginning of the movie, and then they wouldn't even bury their friend, and there's weird, this weird cult, but uh, you got the, uh, the Fire Creek funeral, and that's uh, another form of, it's close to the Irish Wake funeral, but everybody's dancing, but they'll actually, and you can't say they're not doing the same thing, so they have some, they can't even afford a, 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 a funeral parlor. That's what the problem is. That's, um, that's a, so money's always being shifted, and you have to do it the right way to, to, to so, so nobody gets clipped on the Brinks job, so that's, uh, Snoop's uh, last call to uh, to the diner to have some uh, to have some loop the uh, soda pop when he's talking to his nephew about his ball game last week. Is he's bringing them up here and a bunch of others too, and, um, and so he pops out one shell and he aims it just above the creep's uh, head and uh, over across the the uh, roof of his car in front of the kids, and the kid looks and says, what the, f so, and then the girl gets out of his grip, runs back into the kid's car, the kid turns around the car, blasts past, Stoop says, what the hell are you doing, you trying to run us over, Neptune's going black, he, he's jumping up and down, he's having a great time, and everybody's got, run, get him, get him, then they all surround his car, they say, you're going to, oh, does this look good to you? Is this, is this, you, you wanna, you wanna hurt some, somebody who has no defenses? See, I, I got a, you know, I got a clogged up sink at home and I got a little left over. And he kind of swishes it around and Stu says, uh, we is, uh, how, uh, Dr. Dre, um, what do you think? I don't know. I got the scissors and of course I got a wrap for his neck and you know, his shoulder. The barber shop we keep open all night, and we got fans to keep us cool. Now what we want you to do is sell the car, uh, report to to the nearest jail, explain the situation, and whether they come in and uh, take you out, take you to the beach, and um, do you know how to swim? Well, we're gonna have a. a, a English Channel swim. When you get to England, you're gonna have a crowning by the Queen and the King. And um, we're gonna make you um, the duck of dancing. It's gonna be a Broadway show. And you ain't gonna have another girlfriend until you're 89 years old. And you're gonna be um, um, Halen Bay and Baylor Hay. Because, uh, something inside you that only goes dingling when someone breaks a dish at the dinner table and they get a whack. My God, what's wrong with you? This is your actually family. And I don't care. I don't care if you, if you, if you got. Uh, you, I know, I know, I know you, you have bad eyesight and you couldn't put bars on your shoulders. That's not no one's fault. It's up to you about how you take care of your money flow and your, and your broken toe. It has nothing to do with anybody else. And we got the pictures to prove it. So you're going to join Pinkerton and you're going to wear, a, wear a, one of those cute suits. There's a, there's a lady down there who kind of looks like, um, she looks like a cross between Jonathan Winters and um, Andre the Giant. And she's available, actually, if you don't mind, you know. Uh, she's got a, she, she has a leak in, in the, in the, in the, um, I got this, um, this, this pole here with the cup on top. You just have to unplug the house once a day, and then you get the day to, to flap around and watch, um, 
Oh, what's that guy's name? He comes on twice a day. And you, you can be her butler. There's nothing that goes beyond that. Remember, she's a, she's a decent gal. And um, you would better treat her so. She's, she's not uh, Catholic. She is Catholic, but she's not. It's a hard thing to explain, but she's kind of a, a strawberry twist in between a daiquiri and a, um, a, a bloody uh, canary, Rary, Rory, uh, Mary Jane, Mary Ann, uh, and Creepin' Buzzard, Blizzard Toe. And this is going to be a while for it. We're going to have to set it up for about two years. For the meantime, you're going to serve us drink da drinks downstairs. You do what we tell you to do, be a good boy, and you'll be out of the situation. In two years, and you'll be living with this, um, this, um, two, you know, this, um, um you, you have to um, plug everything in the house when they start digging the rabbit holes and destroying her flowers. That's not, that's not nice. It's not nice, but it's not nice in a much lesser level that you ain't gonna mess up society so much that that everything goes to, to ribbons some night and some kind of thing is learned and you're, you're part of the, the creepo society and you do things that you don't dare do at quarter past two and a, a, a bunch of toughs down at the gas station who would rip your, your pieces to pieces but you do it around the kid and he ain't he ain't got he ain't uh, got his ocean yet but um, oh who's this Jack Sparrow, that's who it is. Jack. No, that's not Jack Sparrow. He's got, but he's got. He's got a weird thing about some uh, lady. The, the, it's a horrible place. You don't go there. You get one room, and you get some guy on the phone all day and all night yelling and screaming and making no sense at all. He's a dysfunctional family nearby and you can't even read, read any of your books. So, and this is another place upstairs for the gas drugstore. I don't care. i am got my suitcases. I got my ticket. I'm right across from Lizzie Borden bed and breakfast. And things are really about to get so weird that it, it raises to another level. And um, you're like a, a box of Cracker Jacks just hopping from one hospital to another for the rest of 25 years. And um, hi, Mike. You still get your, mit your motorcycles? Huh? You're not delivering from Apothecary anymore. I miss you. I miss you, Mike. Ha, ha, ha. You still, you still, too bad you were in the cell with the three other guys. You might have been, remember what you used to tell me? I, uh, I walk over the dead bodies, Paul. I'm your best friend. I love you, and I love the Grateful Dead. Yeah, and, um, so man, he's probably in another apothecary but Whitey's blind now they say I do feel bad for him so what can you say I don't know it was who can help the situation so many times you can it, it's terrible but if I was a kid getting on one of those ghost ships and I would have wound up in South Lee or Watertown, I think I could have survived. I wouldn't have been in a box. Anywhere I had been, I would have been a survivor because I had a star on my head. And, um,
this this last part of the poem song has been all off the cuff. So I'm going to stop now. And I'm going to put it on a Snoop Dogg uh, instrumental with shared royalties. Uh, okay, I'm just about to stop. I'm just about to stop. Give me a minute. I can't do a fade out because all the only noise is the air conditioner. So I'd like to say bye, peace, love, and thank you. Thank you for the joy of entertaining you.